In this free ChatGPT course, I'm just going to show you guys the specific use cases that once you set it up, you can utilize it for so many different times in your marketing journey. <laughs> So right now, I'm just going to train ChatGPT to write exactly like me, okay? I'm not going to use me as an example. I'm just going to take a persona, um, like maybe you are you are writing to your email subscribers and you want ChatGPT to follow a certain format. So how you can train ChatGPT on this? So for example, just imagine that now I want to train ChatGPT to write uh, like always use the wording stay amazing like me, okay? And always refer to your subscribers as a certain call uh, family, right? So you can say, okay, now ChatGPT, I am going to train you to write like me to my email subscribers. The style to follow is fun, excited, passionate, and will always end with a great quote to make people laugh it can be a joke or a quote okay <clears throat> and i always refer my email subscribers as family right and the gradings have to be fun and clear my writing is very informal and it has to be conversational style so it depends on how you write uh how you usually write you just, just tell ChatGPT, you train it to like you know write like me and what's the style to follow what is the tonality here i talk about tonality and i always say that i want to include a great quote or a great joke to make people laugh right and i always referring them as family and i want it to be fun and clear and my writing style have to be informal and conversational and also include relevant emoji can you try so by giving the context so this is what we learned giving chat the context so that's why i put a quotation to tell them that, hey this is the context can you try to write one email just a general update to my subscribers that i recently launched this free course on chat gpt on chat gpt <clears throat> so to build them build the excitement build the excitement along the way all right remember i want a funny joke at the end okay so by taking a consideration, ChatGPT is going to rough, write me a draft email. So, because I mentioned that I want it to be fun and informal and I always refer my subscribers family, so that's why it says, hey family, right? And I want it to be conversational. So that's why when ChatGPT is writing that, it actually takes note about, I want it to be conversational, like, ChatGPT, what's that, right? And then I wanted to have a quote next time, a uh, quote or a joke, remember? So that's why ChatGPT is writing me a joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. But then I didn't like, I didn't get the joke. Okay, okay, so ChatGPT. <clears throat> it is good just that I didn't like the joke at the end. Can you try a different one? Okay. So now it is rewriting. So why did the computer go to the doctor? Because it had a virus. <laughs> so it is an unrelated joke. So I, I didn't like it. Um, change to another joke. Change to another joke to tease them that why they should be checking out my next emails about the free course. So I want to change another joke. So why did the student bring a ladder to school to reach the next level? I think this is fine. So this joke is fine. This joke is fine. Now, can you combine my email content that you have written above with this joke and 
more conversation, more informal and fun and excitement to build up the excitement of my course. All right. So now it's integrating the joke and my original email content. So I really love this. This is pretty informal, like drum rolls, right? So it also can build the kind of flow, like it says some content and then say that, hey, you know what? Speaking of jokes, I got a good one for you. Why did a student bring a ladder to school to reach your next level? I know it's cheesy, but I couldn't resist, All right? So seriously though, this course is going to be a game changer for anyone interested in natural language processing. processing. Whether you're an expert or just getting started, you're going to learn so much more. So what are you waiting for? So maybe um, I like how it is being written, but then not enough emoji. So I'm just going to give a comment. <clears throat> Can you include more emojis and emojis so that it is easier to read? All right. So to take note on my information of how I like it to be written, I think it's much better because they actually take in my input. Okay, so let's assume that this is the final copy that like you really like the style of this email. Yes, this style is great. Uh, can you take note that this is how you should write email like me so that next time when I instruct you to write an email, you can follow the exact pattern and format. So it actually, based on what you teach the ChatGPT, it can help you to summarize what is the pattern. You want to be fun, excited, and passionate. Addressing a subscriber as family, include relevant emojis, ending each email with a great quote joke to make people laugh, using clear and fun greetings, and writing an informal and conversational style. So now, I think this is just great. If let's say you have additional instruction, you can ju just tell ChatGPT. Otherwise, yes, this is great. ChatGPT will actually take note. So that's where I will just leave this conversational when it comes to fun email writing. So of course, your email writing style is different from mine, right? Because we have different branding. So I just want to show you guys how you can actually train the ChatGPT to follow a certain patterns that you train ChatGPT to follow certain formats, patterns to write like you. Because essentially, if let's say you're able to do that and you're willing to just spend about five minutes based on what I teach you guys to do that in your chat GPT, you are going to save so much of time. So I hope that you guys been loving it. And if let's say you've been loving this free course, feel free to share this course with your friends and family members, right? So that they can learn to be like a uh, AI queen just like us. And also if let's say you've been loving it, please leave me some comment down below. And also if let's say you want to sign up the free course, feel free to check out the description link down below as well as you can join my facebook group at www.amazingstory.co to get more tips and tricks from me when it comes to all these different automation tools to help you in your productivity so i hope that you guys are loving this and i will see you back inside the course then take care bye want to improve your confidence in front of the camera as well as sharpen your public speaking skills you wouldn't want to miss our signature program seven day amazing video challenge where throughout this seven day video challenge we are going to be inside a private facebook group where i'm going to give you uh, 10 minutes of coaching daily and to give you a specific topic to do a video on and it is going to be fun and you're going to network with other beginners who are just starting to create videos just like you so with chat gpt and with so many ai tools that can write content for us the only determinant that separate you and other great entrepreneurs marketers and coaches is that you are able to face the camera and to build your authority in no time. So speaking in front of camera and the confidence level that you are able to display is going to make such a huge difference between you and other coaches and other marketers and other entrepreneurs. So be sure to take up this chance to join our next amazing video challenge where I'm just going to put the link down here is 
amazingchallenge.us and in this website you are going to know which specific date that we are rolling out this challenge and join join us together to have a lot of fun together and i'll see you inside the challenge then take care bye